Racing at this level requires more than just talent. With the right guidance, our athletes can practice the discipline necessary to help them prepare not only physically, but mentally for each and every race. Performance Director Michael Torres breaks down exactly what it takes to achieve a top performance. My name is Michael Torres. I'm a performance director. My background is in, in high performance coaching. So I've transitioned into the world of motorsports in the last six or seven years. And now happen to find myself working with a few riders and teams in the Motor America paddock. In racing, you have a multitude of things from mental, physical, there's a lot of demands on the body. What we try to look at is the total performance of the athlete, right? I look at a program we call Total Athlete Care. And that allows us to, to take every aspect of, of their performance from their physical capacity to how well they, they transition that capacity onto the racetrack. So whether that's endurance, whether that's mobility, the ability to move on the bike from side to side or get in a proper position, or deal with, as professional riders and racers do, the nagging injuries, the bangs, the bruises, and how do you get around that to still achieve the results that you want. From the mental side, we always talk about the race start as its own race. But mainly the biggest muscle that has to work at the, at the launch, at the start, is the brain. And in that second, you have the body being completely tense, but you have to have a relaxed mind because you have to be able to react to, to what's happening around you. So a lot of the, the work that goes into, from a physical side for, for race starts, is three components. Mainly you have the ability to activate the right muscles, so it's muscle activation. There's the ability to sustain that activation, so maintaining a, a clinch or maintaining a tight position. And there's breathing. Right? Most those three things will allow the mind and the body to kind of sync together. So most riders are dealing with the nerves, the butterflies as they, as they call it on the start grid. And those forces can be massive, but the ability to, to keep your core right, and your legs tight while you accelerate hard without disrupting what's happening with the bike. So you're tensing your body to prepare against the launch. So the launch wants to throw you backwards, you need to stay forward and keep the wheel down. So that's keeping your body in your center of mass just forward of, of, of the pegs. So that's a lot of the forces that they're dealing with is trying to control that body position. So whereas in acceleration, you're getting pulled away from the bike, right? On braking, you're getting pushed into the bike because oftentimes braking is preceding a corner. Mainly outside of the shoulders, the core and your lower back becomes super, super critical. And your ability to turn in on the corner really has a lot to do with how your body position and how fast your body moves. Well, the moving of the body under braking is all controlled by your core. Because if you don't have core control, your body will flop forward and you'll turn in too quickly. But the ability to maintain position and tip in under control is, is, a, core, is a core action. When it comes to the riders, you have to then manage both the team side and the individual side and then look at how much time they have to train, what equipment do they have to train, and what really are their needs. We actually have a full program that we run weekly, which is almost 20 hours a week with a lot of our riders that actually are in the Motor America paddock. So they do everything from mobility and core work every morning, five days a week. They do flexibility and breath work five days a week, every evening. And in between that, three days a week, they're doing mental conditioning training. And then they also have four days a week of strength training. So that's kind of how we bring it together. We keep them engaged throughout the week. And then we look at basically the brain, the body, nutrition, and recovery. Those four, those four areas are kind of the, the four pillars that we funnel everything into. 